Okay, so on my free YouTube videos, I'm gonna start to show you um, little techniques and little tips and demonstrations so you can build up your skills in Portuguese knitting. Right now, I'm here ready to show you how I do this puntas and picas. This is a technique that actually produces a very cute decoration and you're going to see here upside down but the, the Peruvian use this as decorations of the bottom or their chulos or their hats and I think it's really cute and if you look up close now you can see that they represent the mountains and the valleys in Peru so I'm going to show you how to do this using two different colors okay so we're ready to get started Okay, so here we are ready to start demonstrating to you how I do the picas and puntas in two colors, okay? I just want to show you before I get started, this is very small and fiddly, so be patient as I show you how to pick up the stitches and knit. I want to show you the real thing. I bought this hat in Peru and I wanted to show you how small they go. And here is a, a in this hat, they are doing also in two colors. So you see a chain that is uh, done in a crochet hook in white. And then they have a little bit of knitting, you know, in the, in the puntas uh, in a very teeny tiny needle. And you can see by the gauge of the hat too, it's 100% alpaca, all natural colors, how small the gauge is. What I'm gonna show you actually is a giant size of this but still very small and fiddly for some of you. So just bear with me. The first thing we're going to do, and by the way, uh, this is the one uh, technique I use in the, my design. Those are two chulos that I designed for my craftsy class. I have a child one and an adult one. And both of the hats involve a lot of techniques. The one I'm going to start to demonstrate today is here applied on a child hat, okay? And both of those patterns are going to be available on my shop. You can go to andrewongknits.com and you click on shop and my patterns are going to be there. Unless you already have it for free on your craftsy class. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to bring my collar. I got three puntas already started here, but... The first thing you're going to do is to make a chain with a crochet hook and I already started my chain here. See how I am assuming you already know how to make a chain in crochet. It's very simple and when you make a chain, especially if you have done the provisional cast on, you're going to see that one side of the chain, it looks like a series of V's or knit stitches and the other side of the chain you see some bumps so again if you have done a provisional cast on maybe you learn this and you learn how to go and pick up the bumps on the reverse side of the chain that's what we're going to do right now okay so I use very pointy needles to do this especially if it's in a small yarn and I'm gonna go and pick up the first bump I see here. And by using two needles, that helps me to manipulate everything I need, okay? So I'm gonna pick up and knit into this first bump with the yellow collar, okay? I'm gonna do this three more times, so bear there with me as I go because every time you pick up a bump you make the neighbors the bumps <laughs> there are neighbors a little bit tighter two let's go into the third one I pick up here with my sharp and I split the yarn here I have to take this away from here there pick up and knit three Last one, 
Sometimes I pick up from back to front, sometimes front to back, whatever is easier to insert the needle. And fourth. Fourth bump. Okay, here we are. So I went into the back of the chain again, into bumps, and pick up four stitches, okay? Pick up and knit four stitches. Now with my needle, I'm gonna pass stitch number three over stitch number four. Done. Move my yarn and pick up another bump. Pick up and knit another one. So that's would be my stitch number five. And now I'm gonna pick up stitch number three or four, depending on how you're counting this. Go over the last one, one more, and go over the last one. So now I brought two stitches over the stitch that was on the left hand needle. Go and pick up another one. That would be bump number six that I'm picking up and knitting. There you go. So if I stop here, you can see that this is creating already a triangle shape here, okay? Because I'm decreasing like crazy and now I have three yellow stitches on the needle. I'm going to turn and I'm going to purl those three. One, two, and three. And again, the Peruvian do this with very small yarn, very small needles, and they work very tight. I turn my work and now I'm going to knit those three stitches. One, two, and three. I will insert my needle and pick up another bump from back to front. Make sure I don't split this yarn here. And we are done with another punta. And you can see that. So by doing that, I stopped my chain here, first thing. So when I did my chain in pink, I chained so many, the pattern is gonna tell you to chain 90. I don't chain all together. I chain so many and now see how my last stitch here is loose. I can pick up with the crochet hook and keep chaining. And as I go and do those puntas here, I'm going to use up the chain. When I do this, you can see that every punta pretty much makes four stitches and then repeats. One, two, and three, and four, and there's always an odd stitch to finish up the pattern. But in other words, as you make those puntas, you are having the stitches as the cast on. From here, you're going to pick up, uh, not pick up, from here, you're going to work the stitches from the hat. So you're going to make a number of puntas that gives you the circumference of the head, or a little bigger if you want. And those are your foundation stitches. That's what I want to say, where your head is going to build up, okay? So if you see my example here in the child one, see, I did so many puntas for the circumference and out of this foundation I knit my head up until the top. So I hope that's all clear. Again those patterns are available for you on my shop and you can reach me by email or reach me on Facebook, Instagram. You know how to get hold of me if you have questions, okay? But I hope you enjoy this technique. I do very much and don't be limited to use this just for hats. Of course, you can make uh, decorations in many pieces of knitting. I am about to design a little girl sweater that uses this at the bottom. You can put this on cuffs, you can put this on mittens, fingerless gloves, things like that, okay? So 
I hope this is something new for you and I want you to enjoy. Take your time. <laughs>